Hi folks, uh, this is an overview of what the internship exam for AppliedAACourse.com would look like. So let's, we have two rounds as we discussed earlier and as we communicated to you earlier. Both rounds are online. Let's be very clear here. The first round, let's go with the first round. I'll explain you the details of the first round and then we'll go and understand what the second round is. The first round is an online round and you can take this exam from anywhere, fr from the comfort of your home or your college or your dormitory room, please feel free to take this exam from anywhere. And to take the exam, you will have to go to internexam.appliedaacourse.com, right? So right now, if you go to this site, you'll find this video and some guidelines and some rules of the examination, right? Some basic, basic rules of the examination. In round one, we have 30 questions and you have 45 minutes to solve these 30 questions, right? And all the questions are multiple choice questions. And the exam will start on December 10th, 2017 at 8 p.m. Indian time. Let's be very, very clear here, right? It's 8 p.m. in the evening. It's 8 in the evening on December 10th, 2017. And we are doing it in the evening so as to accommodate other students who are taking other exams. We believe there is another exam on December 10th for Tata Institute Fundamental Research. And hence, we move the exam to the evening. And you can take it from anywhere. You can take it from your laptop. You can take it from your desktop or your even even your mobile phone right you can you can you can take this exam even from your mobile phone it's very very easy and you can take it as long as you have an internet connection that's important right and you get plus 3 marks for a correct answer and since there are 30 questions the maximum marks would be 90 you get minus 3 marks for an incorrect answer but you have the option to skip or unanswer a question if you do not answer a question you get zero marks for it right this is very clear i hope the most important thing, this is the most important thing. I'll show you an example. You must submit, you must submit the test by 8.45 p.m. IST, since you have 45 minutes. If you do not submit your test by 8.45, we will not take your answers into consideration. Let me explain you how it looks. So today we are also giving you a sample test. At 8 o'clock, you'll see a sample test like this. Sorry, you'll see a test like this. At 8 p.m. on December 10th, all the tests will be on a Google form, right? So if you go to this, if you go to this page, internexam.appliedaacourse.com, on December 10th at 8 p.m., you'll see a form like this. First thing, please fill up your name, email address, and so I'll just fill up these details here so that you can understand what exactly it is. First, please fill up your name, a valid email address because we need to communicate it too clearly. And you also need to fill up your date of birth. The first Two digits are month, not date. It is not DDMMYYYY. It is MMDDYYYY. So if it is, let's say, July, right? If it's July 23rd, 1990, this is how you fill it. Okay? And you have three basic instructions. The total duration of the exam is 45 minutes. And you need to submit this Google form by 845. You cannot submit it after 845. And you say, I've read and understood the above instructions. Right? Please fill in your name, your email address, and your date of birth. Please, please don't make mistakes there. Otherwise, it will be impossible for us to reach out to you if you're selected and to inform you that you're selected, right? So you say, I have, I have read and understood the above instructions. You click next. As soon as you click next, you get your first question here, right? It's a simple question. You have four answers. If you want to answer one, you answer it. If you, if you want to skip this question, you just say next. If you want to skip this question, you just say next. Then you go to question two. If you want to answer this question, you answer it. Feel free to answer this question. If you don't want to answer it, you can always skip it and go to the next question, right? At any point in the test, you can always go back and answer a previously unanswered question or change the answer to a previously answered question. Both of those are valid, okay? So once you have answered all the five questions, so there's another question. If you have answered this question, so you have five questions in total in this sample test. In the actual test, you have 30 questions and you get 45 minutes, right? Please, please don't make the mistake of not submitting your tests on time, right? So right now, if I'm on fourth question, let me take you through an example. If I'm on fourth question, if it's already 8.45, let's say, right now my time, I'm recording this video at a different time, but let's assume this is, today is December 10th, and if you do not submit it, so the submit button is always at the last question, right? At 8.45, you need to come to the last question before 8.45 or just at 8.45 and click the submit button. If you do not press the submit button, all the answers to the previous questions are also not submitted. 
the other so the results for the test will be declared on december 11th 2017 again at 8 pm you can again go back to our website here internexam.appliedaacourse.com and you will see the list of selected candidates for each candidate we will declare the name and the date of birth so that they can uniquely identify themselves the name and date of birth will be communicated at this page if you go to on december 11th 2017 at 8 pm the test is on december 10th by december 11th 8 pm if you go to our website we will put up the list of all the selected candidates in round one in round one by 8 pm right i think it's best if you just go to the website at 8 pm and you'll see the list and which website to go it's all internexam.appliedaacourse.com right and please don't and you'll be disqualified if found cheating let me explain what cheating means cheating means if more than one person groups together to write an exam that is considered cheating you can use this this is an open book exam which means you can you can pick up you can bring your textbook and you are free to pick up your textbook and answer the questions right you can search for answers or you can search for some technique that you have forgotten on the internet feel free to do it but you cannot discuss amongst people and solve it if your friend has answered a question you can't copy his answer right if anybody is found cheating you will be immediately disqualified you are most welcome you are perfectly okay for us if you get your textbooks or if you do google search that's perfectly valid right and our decision of shortlist of shortlisted candidates is final and absolute please please keep that in mind and i've given you a sample test here right i've showed you a sample test here what we'll do is in the in the description description section of this video we'll put up the sample test the sample test also has gives you a rough sense of what types of questions will be asked in round one feel free to go through the test take it at your own time so that you get used to our testing framework right it's simple google forms it's nothing very fancy it's very very simple anybody who has used a google form earlier should be able to do it but as i as i told you we'll give you the sample test with five sample questions so that you know how our software works how, how google forms works and how you can take the test feel free to take it at your own convenience we will not use the sample test for evaluation this is only for your practice right i hope i made myself clear now what happens is round two is also online and round two is only for those candidates who are shortlisted in round one not for all the candidates we have thousands of candidates who have applied for round one so we will not we will not be able to conduct round two for all the candidates the results that we announced on december 11 the shortlisted students and uh, shortlisted p folks we will only conduct round two only for those candidates who are selected in round one and for round two also you can just go to internexam.appliedaacourse.com and it starts on december 13th 2017 at 8 pm this is a one hour test this is round two round two is a one hour test where you have two programming questions and you can just go to internexam.appliedaacourse.com it will redirect you to a page on code chef which is a platform on which we'll have the programming uh, programming questions you can program in any language of your convenience you can program in c c plus plus python java code chef gives you like a, a bunch of languages right you can even do it in c sharp go scala ruby you name it right you can go to codechef.com to see how some of these programming contests or programming questions look like right of course we give our own programming questions and as just to reiterate the point or to repeat it only shortlisted candidates from round one will be able to participate in round two not everyone unfortunately right and the disqualific you will be disqualified in round two if you are found plagiarizing plagiarizing code which means you can't you need to write your own code please don't copy code from other from others because if you do that and if you're found you'll be immediately disqualified from round two right you need to write your code in any language of your choice if you're comfortable with c feel free to do it if you're comfortable in java do it any language of your choice you can pick and write it and we're using code chef as a platform for a round two having said that what is the evaluation criteria for round two? We will have a bunch of test cases for each programming question. Your, the more test cases your solution or your code passes, the more marks you get. Of course, we look at time and space complexity and also the code quality. How efficiently you have written the code. At the same time, how readable is your code? And the results for round two will be announced on December 15, 2017 at 10 a.m. Again on our website. Our website for the examinations for both these rounds will be internexam.appliedaacourse.com right so those of you who are preparing for both rounds rounds one and two 
please prepare C data structures and algorithms, especially for round one. Round two is general purpose programming questions, mostly involving data structures and algorithms, and you can write it in any language of your choice. I hope we have answered most of the questions that were being asked, and please spend time, spend some time and take the sample test because you'll get a flavor, you'll get an idea of what types of questions you could expect, especially in round one, and you'll also you'll also uh, understand the interface that we have for round one. And we hope, we hope again, by the way, this is the first test we are conducting at Applied AI course. So we hope there will be no glitches. We are hoping that Google Forms will scale to the thousands of people who are going to take this test. All the very best and hope to see some of you be, uh, be our interns early next year. All the very best folks.